Hi everybody and welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. Today's best shot question is, what's the one bit of advice that I would give to a new starter? Alright, so this is something that got passed on to me a long time ago and I've seen it passed on successfully over the years and that is when you're a new starter to the industry, it's a big industry with lots of different areas, you have to find out the area that's hiring the new starters and that's where you have to go. Uh, there's no use if you try and get on in an area that's got an oversupply of experienced people all you're going to do is end up chasing your tail um, you're not actually going to get on or get a start and uh, in today's topsy-turvy world so when now that everything's been turned upside down um, there's a couple of places that are still having to hire new starters and that's in hard rock underground and exploration uh, mostly in gold mines but some nickel mines and base metal mines are still going straight Strong because they've got um, forward contracts and are still looking for people but there's lots of gold mines opening or ramping up production and trying to punch underground to take advantage of the huge gold price that's in Australian dollars at the moment so if we flip over to have a look at the gold chart and the gold price you can see it's all the way up here at um, almost $2,700 an ounce but you can see what it's done along here and it's hit a real um, almost a hockey stick upturn which isn't looking like it's going to stop anytime soon and that's why everybody's struggling or everybody's racing to um, get their gold mine ramped up and going with more production and that's where the jobs are going to be there's going to be jobs on the mill there's going to be jobs in the um, open cut there's going to be jobs in the underground and there's going to be utility jobs in the camps as well but that's the area that I would be targeting if I was a new starter at the moment I'd be looking at my hard rock underground gold mines and nickel mines as well as exploration. But just be warned, if you go in with exploration as an offsider, it is a really physical job. It's not for everybody. Um, sometimes you're camping um, and it's one of the few jobs where they go out with um, twice as many people as they need for the job and a ute to drive people home as they quit um, in the first couple of days when they realise how hard the job's going to be. So that can be a bit of an eye-opener for some people. Um, but again, that's where the jobs are. And if you want to get in, that's what you have to do sometimes. Um, so I hope you find that information helpful. And that's the best advice I could give you is if you want a job as a new starter, go where they're having to hire new people in the industry. And um, unfortunately, they've still got a big choice of people in iron ore, coal and oil and gas and even shut down work with lots of experience. So that's what they're choosing to do is hire the experience. Whereas in gold, in hard rock underground, they've got no choice but to hire new starters to fill the entry, to fill the truck and the nipper and the offside of rolls because there's nobody with any experience applying for them. So I hope you found that information helpful and um, if you could like and subscribe the channel and if you've got another best shot question that you want answered, please just send it in. Thank you.